The other day when we were making this uh, melon farm, which I still absolutely love, and has cranked out like a stack and a half since we started the stream today, uh, there was a chest full of, of related farming things uh, happening uh, right here that we had to move. And I just realized last night when I was on here puttering around where we can put the chest. Right here. How cool is this going to be? We can have the chest full of farming stuff down here like this. Where's my, where'd the chest go? Like that. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want them to be separate. I want them to be together. So that when you come over here and you need a hoe or you want to put carrots or something in here like that, then it's all there. And then when, with the trap chest, when you leave the trap chest, the doors close automatically, right? Isn't that cool? Anyway, so that's what we're going to do next. It's going to, it might be a little bit of a, of a putter, putter server, but I want to, I want to, uh, make this look good. So I think this is going to have to turn into spruce. Probably just line this whole thing with spruce would be the, the way to go. Right. That'd be my guess. Dump some inventory and then that's what we'll do. I'm not sure if that's going to get annoying or not. It might. It might get annoying. We may have to... We may want to switch that to a regular chest. It's It was neat at first and then all of a sudden I've changed my mind. So let's just, let's switch this out to a regular chest. I feel like we will have fewer regrets. I don't know what to do with trap chests anymore. You used to have to have them for making storage systems and now you don't need, you don't have a use for them anymore. So let's just get rid of this. And we'll just chop this up and just replace it. I guess I could put pumpkins back down there. So we need to put some wood here. And then maybe this is where we could put pumpkins. Ooh, I could hide them behind trap doors. That's what we could do. So the jack-o'-lanterns, uh, hmm, need to get down there. Joel, do you ever do auto fishers or are you against them? I'm not against them, um, but here's the thing. I have one in the swamp. I did build an auto fisher. I think it might be broken now, but I AFK for like four hours and I have all that I will ever need <laughs> out of that one, that one AFK fisher. <laughs> I think the difference on this server is not that I have anything against them. It's just that, uh, we have some really good villagers like we've got some great mending villagers so we don't need we don't need the afk fisher as much but i thought it was a cool idea i did it just to kind of learn how they worked but i don't think it's going to be something that i'm i'm not i'm neither for nor against i just thought it was um i just thought it was okay you know i didn't feel bad like i didn't feel like it was cheaty or anything like that so if I do this, like that, and then, nope, 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 nope. This is the kind of stuff I really like. I like putting a lot of detail into the dumbest little things. <laughs> just because I find that it just, it makes the experience, oh, come on. That must be a double. Yeah, it is a double slab. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, dirt and then solid block, dirt, dirt, and then this is just grass, and then go back to my trapdoors here. Now you can't tell, but those trapdoors are totally letting the light through. Oh, this is not supposed to be dirt. I think that's everything. Yep. So now we can just put these back in like this. Yeah, works for me. 
So what I'm thinking is, I know Alistair did clean out a few potatoes. I think I saw him do that when I was streaming a few a little while ago. Uh, yeah, looks like he took some potatoes out. So that's great, but that's going to fill up super fast. Uh, when we're working in this area, that carrot farm that feeds the villager breeder is, is on as well. When the villager breeder is off, the carrots do bypass it and they go straight into here. So we're getting close to full on carrots. So what I thought the idea would be that the simplest solution is to just dig down here and add another chest and just kind of get us past, you know, the initial blockade. I just don't know what that's going to look like. So I've got some building blocks in here that we can kind of mess around with. So if I wanted to kind of turn this into the same sort of design, right? And then we'd have to come up with, it would, it messes up the lighting. That's the only thing. Although I guess that we don't really have to access it if, unless we really, really want to run low. So it doesn't really have to affect the design too much. Uh, and then on the back, it's just a matter of putting in like one extra hopper. Uh, getting back there is just the, the slightly tricky part. You just have to kind of come come down here. We'll have to add in a little bit of this stuff here. And then do I have more? I do. Not much though. We'll have to get more white concrete. Uh, and then there is an ender chest just in here. I'll need my redstone box and a bunch of chests. So really all we do, it was, we would just put in chest like that, add a new hopper. Should probably just take the hoppers out. Oh, well, that's troubling. Let's fix that problem. So we have, all we would have to do is just do that. And that should immediately start dumping this hopper. And that's gonna, so that's gonna fill that up pretty quick, which is cool. And then we can just put it like that. With the new hit boxes, we can still technically access it. It's not convenient, convenient, but it does work. Um, I might be inclined to put something there. And I feel like I should probably fill that in too. Just so that we don't get any spawns there, but so that is really, really hard to see. So I think that's probably going to be the easiest solution. We are just going to have to go and make, just have to grab some more white concrete because concrete is not something that I carry in my ender chest, which is weird. I, I probably should fix that. Hmm. Did I make it before the end of the stream this time? Cheeky Fox Glove, you did. We're going to be streaming for a little while, so welcome back. Thanks for coming back, by the way. Good to good to see you. Little Froggy 08, would stairs mess up the design? Uh, you could. I, we could put stairs here. The I think what what would happen was, and that's what I meant exactly when I said it would mess up the design. Is it's, it would mess up with my lighting idea. So we, we don't need to access this. This is, there's always going to be several chests and really we should take from the top first, right? So this is just going to give us a little bit of extra storage. These farms are just faster than I thought they would be. We've also had an uptick in activity on the server. So myself and Alistair and Matt Cast have been playing, um, Megan has been playing quite a bit. So there's more people on, which means that the farms are more active. So that, that does add uh, to, to the, uh, the efficiency. So let's go get some concrete. If Elkhorn is still watching, I don't hate Elytra that much. <laughs> that, that's the kind of thing about Elytra that I like. <laughs> of course, I'm just giving you a hard time. Uh, was it Elkhorn or Pixel Plague? Sorry, I think it was Pixel Plague. Pixel Plague that might have wrote it and, and gave us guff about Elytra. But I'm just I'm just giving you a hard time.
Yeah, concrete doesn't have stairs. Um, the quartz stairs look great with it. They're fine. I think they, they match okay. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but uh, I think I would prefer to not mess with it. Simplest solution at the moment. If we decide to do anything extra, then, then we can do that. So what I can do is once I've added these chests, it allows me to be deep enough now that I could put an overflow filter on one of those chests. So every, but I don't know how to, I'd have to figure out the rates in order to really do it properly, so. I guess the idea is the easiest thing is to just kind of duck in here. The hard part is going to be the middle one because I don't think I can get back there. No. So that's going to be the hard part, but I can, I guess the idea, the better thing to do would be to go just deeper and then we can access stuff that way. So I can just put like, I can take out this and this because this is this obviously this greenhouse does not go does not go very far uh, so i think if i leave these blocks in then that'll make some things a little bit easier because then i can just put the chests in do i not have more oh there we go I'm so glad they changed the fact that you you can put chests next to one another now. Such a such a great change. And now that stuff back there, that's all under the hoppers. It's alright, we've got enough concrete. Not too worried about it. That and then this can all just be dirt again. Make sure that they're doing their thing. Yep. And I'm surprised that these water streams don't look as bad as I thought. I thought they were going to really bug me, but it's not so bad. Yeah, that's fine. It's all good. Uh, Elkhorn, I mistook you for uh, Pixel Plague, one of the comments that, that he had made earlier. Well, that concrete maker is nice. Don't know how those, didn't know those were a thing. Oh, uh, it's really straightforward. It's all about downward flowing water and a hopper and the sign, even though the sign looks like it's just a label, the sign is actually key. The sign is what keeps you from placing more blocks next to it. We can take a closer look when I go back to the barn. I'll show you. Rogue Spark Gaming with the follow. Thanks very much. Welcome. Oh, hey, wow, that's the ceiling. <laughs> that's a long way down. Okay. Good to know. Good to know we have a, a little bit of a, a give here. I thought we were I thought we had a thicker floor. There used to be a, a staircase that went down here. That's probably what I'm remembering. So what did I do before? I think I just, I added in these blocks here, here, and here, which means, no, I have to do that last because I got to put the chests in first. I have just enough chests. Oops. I forgot. I do forget that you have to hit the side of them. I did it again. Okay. So now we can hit these with an alternating block and then hopper. Oh, that has to be. Oh, right. We were just using concrete before. So then block, hopper, block, and hopper. I 
And so as long as that doesn't show from below, we should be good. And so this is probably going to be filling up with string. Nothing happening there, probably because there's not enough pumpkins. And then nothing happening here because there's not enough melons. And that's fine. That's fine. We'll see, we'll see that change. See that change over time. Cool. And I think the wheat was like almost full or something. No, we still got a little bit of leeway. Yeah, cool. And so I think, I think we covered, I think we covered everything up. <laughs> There's the dirt that fell down. Uh, so you can still see, can still see a couple of those lights. That actually is not the end of the world. I kind of like that you can see the lights, lights things up a little bit down here. Maybe what we'll do, do I have enough stuff? Yeah, I can, I can, I can pillar up there. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just extend the stone a little bit just so that it's not so so dirt so dirty looking and we'll just do this probably just use my shovel a little bit, a little bit faster so there's there's the base of the of the greenhouse there probably get rid of some of this stuff too We certainly don't want any diorite. Uh, I don't know if I like it quite exposed like that, though. Maybe we can do something a little bit nicer. Oh, crap. Did not want to do that. That's the, the problems with having efficiency. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do that. And let's do something like this. Suppose if I use my shovel, then I don't have any problems of potentially taking out the the uh, concrete. I do really like the new andesite texture, though. I have to say, that's pretty cool. I think we want to do we do want to keep that there. Carrots and potatoes should not be there. And neither should pumpkins. So we've got so much coming in that I think two filters are problematic. Carrots and potatoes. So here's some serious entities going, but this should not be a problem now that they're not going to be going through those blocks. Like I'm not getting any, any frame drops whatsoever. Another pair of zombies. Interesting. I hear a skeleton too. Yeah, see that that stuff is already in the hoppers. So if nothing else, it makes things a lot faster. Joel, what do you think about the new textures in general? I really like them. I really like them. And I'm gonna sleep so we can see them a little bit better. I've got some tweaks, uh, but nothing too crazy. I think the only texture that so far really rubs me the wrong way is wheat and hay are still not good default and uh, path block. They desaturated and kind of made the path block kind of bland. It doesn't look like treaded grass anymore. It just has this really, I don't know, matte color to it. And I feel like these shadows are really different now too. It's hard to say because the lighting is going to change so much uh, in, in 1.14. So I'm trying not to judge too much of the shadowy stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean the, the default wheat texture, this is Jersey boys, too high wheat with a color tweak from me. Uh, and I went back to the old ferns. I don't like the new ferns either. I went back to the, like the 3.1 or the 3.2 ferns, but everything else that you're seeing is pretty default. Um, I can give you a look at the texture pack. Just let me park myself somewhere in the middle here. Uh, yeah, it's fine. We go to resource packs. So I'm running the 1.14 beta 3.3 vanilla tweaks. These are just making existing items like 3d, like sugar cane and things like that. 
these are my tweaks. They are uh, wheat and sugar cane, uh, some other small stuff, nothing too, too crazy. Uh, and then connected clear glass is something that I downloaded. And then these are my own personal, I designed these myself. So the tools and all that is, is just the diamond tools, just the stuff you see in my hotbar here. That's all it is. Let's see if I can switch around here. So it's just that. Oh, and I have a, a custom Elytra texture too, which I think, I think is pretty fun, right? But I mean, they don't affect gameplay. It's just a, a personal, personal style thing. Uh, making your own texture pack is not hard. Uh, what I would do is I would look up, oh gosh, Uncle Jam. I think it's Uncle Jam. Uh, Uncle Jam and Jermsey Boy. Jermsey Boy just did a just did a, a stream where he was working on textures, so you could certainly learn a bit from watching Jermsey Boy. Uh, but in terms of like how to actually make your own and what the under the hood mechanics are about it, uh, go watch Uncle Jam. The only trick with Uncle Jam is that he made it for 1.12, so his tutorials are a little bit out of date. But it's just a matter of changing the naming convention on, on some of the blocks. But the the process, the idea, and the the method behind it is still the same. So the way that the concrete maker works is that you've got this water that's flowing down into that hopper. And then you've got another hopper here and this hopper going into this chest. So really no matter where the concrete goes, once you mine it, it's either being pushed down by the water or pushed down by the momentum of the water into these hoppers. And this sign is important. Now this doesn't have to be a sign, but it has to be something like a button or a fence post or something because when you put concrete powder here if i do it slowly it immediately turns into concrete because of the contact with the water and if this sign wasn't here what would happen is your concrete powder would turn to concrete and then the next block that you placed would end up being here and then it would just go on and so you don't want that you want to be able to um, constantly be aiming at this block right here right so that got sucked up into the chest um, but you want to be aiming at this block right here and the reason why it's a log is because a log will take even longer than obsidian to break i think uh, with a pickaxe so if you put the concrete powder in your offhand and then you select your pickaxe you have to place concrete powder first with a right click but then you can hold down both right and left click at the same time and you just fly through and you can see my concrete powder is going down and then when you're done everything's in the chest i've got like three of these on the server in various places they're fantastic it's not completely automatic but it's fast enough i don't make enough concrete um, i've seen builds where people also have like an observer that detects when this breaks and the observer triggers a uh, a dropper and the dropper gives you another concrete powder so it's like this constant cycle but i've never i've never needed anything that industrial uh but that's it i think guys i need to uh i need to head off gonna grab myself some dinner but uh if you enjoyed this then please consider following me on things like twitter uh and youtube youtube is going to be where you can catch uh, vods of streams that you miss i chop them up into bite-sized episodes they're about a half an hour long uh, I also announce on Twitter when I go live and I try to give everybody a heads up around 30 or 60 minutes before I do. So if you have an opportunity to catch that, then uh, please follow me over there. Don't forget to check out the Spawn Chunks at thespawnchunks.com. That is the podcast that I do with Pixel Riffs about Minecraft. I will see you guys all next time.